Magic has always fascinated us. From the simplest card trick to the most elaborate illusions it captures our imagination and makes us believe in the impossible. It's the art of the impossible. A dance between reality and illusion that leaves us questioning what we see. A challenge to what we believe is real, making us wonder if there is more to the world than meets the eye. But some magic goes further, delving into the realm of danger and risk. It flirts with danger, pushing the boundaries of human capability and endurance. This is the magic that truly captivates us, that leaves us breathless and amazed wondering how it was done. These dangerous illusions performed by daring individuals create a unique thrill that is hard to replicate. We watch, knowing the risks, holding our breath until the magician emerges unharmed, feeling a rush of relief and excitement. The danger is real, the possibility of failure ever-present, adding a layer of tension to every performance. This element of risk is what sets these acts apart, making them unforgettable. It's a reminder of the fragility of life, the power of skill and preparation, and the thin line between success and failure. And when the magician succeeds, the impossible becomes possible, right before our eyes, leaving us in awe. It's this intoxicating blend of fear and wonder that draws us to the most dangerous magic tricks in the world, making us come back for more, time and time again. Throughout history, certain names have become synonymous with death-defying magic. Harry Houdini, the master of escape, challenged death with every locked box and daring stunt. His name is still synonymous with incredible feats of illusion and escape. Then there's David Copperfield who walked through the Great Wall of China and vanished the Statue of Liberty. These large-scale illusions showcase the power of magic to defy logic and expectation. Let's not forget Chris Angel, a modern master of illusion who levitates, walks on water and even allows himself to be run over by a steamroller. These magicians and many others have risked their lives to entertain and amaze us. They are the inheritors of a legacy of daring, pushing the boundaries of magic and captivating audiences worldwide. Perhaps no other trick embodies the danger and allure of magic quite like the bullet catch. The premise is simple, yet utterly terrifying. A magician catches a fired bullet in their teeth, defying the very laws of nature. This illusion has been performed for centuries, captivating audiences with its blend of danger and skill. Its history, however, is riddled with tragedy and loss. Many brave magicians have attempted it, and some unfortunately have paid the ultimate price with their lives. The danger is very real and ever-present. A slight miscalculation, a technical error, or even a momentary lapse in concentration can have fatal consequences. So how is it done? The methods vary widely, but most rely on a combination of sleight of hand, misdirection, and carefully engineered apparatus. Some magicians use trick bullets that are designed to shatter harmlessly, while others employ secret assistants who play a crucial role behind the scenes. The key to the illusion is to create the convincing appearance of a genuine firearm being fired and a real bullet being caught, all while ensuring the magician's safety. The danger, the suspense, and the seemingly impossible nature of the feat make the bullet catch a timeless testament to the audacity and ingenuity of magic. It continues to captivate and astonish audiences around the world, a true marvel of the magical arts. Harry Houdini, the name itself evokes images of daring escapes and incredible feats. Known as the master of illusion and escape, Houdini's performances were nothing short of legendary. One of his most iconic illusions was the water torture cell, a performance that left audiences breathless and on the edge of their seats. In this act, Houdini was suspended upside down, submerged in a tank filled with water. The danger was palpable, and the tension in the air was almost tangible. Drowning was a very real possibility, adding to the suspense and drama of the performance. Houdini had to hold his breath for an extended period, all the while working to free himself from the restraints. The physical and mental endurance required was immense. The audience watched, captivated, as the minutes ticked by. Each second felt like an eternity as they waited to see if Houdini would emerge victorious. The secret to the water torture cell lay in a combination of physical endurance and clever engineering. Houdini's ability to remain calm under pressure was crucial. Houdini possessed remarkable breath-holding abilities, and the cell itself was designed with hidden mechanisms that only he knew how to exploit. These mechanisms allowed Houdini to manipulate the restraints and create an air pocket within the tank, giving him just enough time to escape. The water torture cell remains a testament to Houdini's skill, daring, and showmanship. 
It is a performance that continues to inspire and amaze, even decades after it was first performed. Section 5. Steel Nerves. The Art of Sword Swallowing. Sword swallowing is an act that seems to defy human anatomy. The performer carefully slides a long, sharp sword down their esophagus, seemingly without effort. The danger is self-evident. One wrong move could be fatal. The sword swallower must possess incredible control over their gag reflex and esophageal muscles. Years of practice are required to master this dangerous art. The secret to sword swallowing lies in suppressing the body's natural reflexes and understanding the anatomy of the throat. The performer carefully aligns the sword with the natural curves of the esophagus, minimizing the risk of injury. It's a delicate and dangerous balancing act, requiring immense skill and unwavering concentration. Section 6. Buried Alive Six Feet Under and Back Again Being buried alive is a primal fear, a nightmare scenario that has haunted humanity for centuries. Yet some magicians have turned this fear into a captivating illusion. The Buried Alive stunt involves the magician being buried underground sometimes for days only to emerge later unharmed. The risks are obvious, suffocation, crushing weight, and the psychological toll of being trapped in darkness. Different magicians have employed different methods to survive this ordeal. Some use hidden air shafts, others rely on secret compartments within the coffin. The key is to create the illusion of a genuine burial while ensuring the magician's safety. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the lengths to which some will go to amaze and astound. Section 7. Firewalking Through the Inferno Firewalking, the act of walking barefoot across a bed of hot embers, has been practiced for centuries in various cultures. It's a feat that seems to defy logic and pain. The embers are scorching hot, yet the firewalker emerges unscathed. The secret lies in the properties of heat transfer and the short duration of contact. Wood embers are poor conductors of heat, and the ash beneath them provides insulation. With each step, the firewalker's feet are in contact with the embers for a very short time, minimizing the amount of heat transferred. However, this doesn't mean firewalking is without risk. It requires careful preparation and a deep understanding of the science involved. Section 8. Death Saw, A Cut Above the Rest The Death Saw illusion is a modern marvel of magic, a heart-stopping spectacle that leaves audiences gasping for air. The magician is strapped to a table, their body bisected by a large rotating saw blade. The illusion is incredibly convincing with the saw blade appearing to pass directly through the magician's body. The secret to the death saw illusion lies in a combination of carefully placed mirrors and body contortion. The magician's body is positioned in a way that allows the saw blade to pass through an empty space while the mirrors create the illusion of a complete bisection. It's a testament to the power of illusion and the ability to manipulate perception. Section 9. The Straitjacket Escape, a test of skill and strength. The Straitjacket Escape is a classic magic trick that has been performed by countless magicians, with Harry Houdini making it one of his signature feats. The magician is bound in a straitjacket, their arms tightly secured and often hung upside down or submerged in water. The challenge is to escape the restraints before time runs out. The straitjacket escape is not an illusion, but a test of skill, strength, and flexibility. Magicians who perform this trick often train for years to develop the necessary techniques. The secret lies in exploiting the subtle slack within the straitjacket, using a series of contortions and maneuvers to loosen the restraints and eventually slip free. Section 10. Beyond Illusion, The Price of Wonder the most dangerous magic tricks are more than just entertainment. They are a testament to human ingenuity, courage, and the relentless pursuit of pushing boundaries. These performers dedicate their lives to perfecting their craft, honing their skills to razor sharpness, and accepting the inherent risks that come with their chosen path. Behind the spectacle, the smoke and mirrors, lies countless hours of practice, meticulous planning, and an unwavering commitment to safety. These magicians are not reckless daredevils but calculated risk-takers who understand the delicate balance between illusion and danger. Section 11. A Legacy of Risk and Reward The allure of dangerous magic lies in its ability to transport us to a realm where the impossible becomes possible. We watch in awe as these skilled performers challenge our perceptions, defy limitations, and emerge victorious from the jaws of danger. Their legacy is one of risk and reward, 
of pushing the boundaries of human potential and reminding us that even in the face of fear, anything is possible with enough skill, determination, and a touch of magic. These death-defying acts will continue to captivate and inspire us, reminding us of the power of the human spirit and the enduring allure of the unknown.